Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmation for Tuesday, August 27th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. Remember, this is a collective reading. It's for all sun, moon, and rising signs. It's for relentlessly optimistic energy and positively positive focus on creating our best possible lives now. So if you'd like to have a reading of your very own, please visit my website, royalmystic.com, and use the coupon code below for a savings of 20%. I look forward to doing a reading with you as we move into this energy and open up our senses. We have the nine of swords where we're in a place of getting too much, you know, worry how this is going to happen, how we're going to make it happen, how... How's it going to come about? Is it going to come about? Am I good enough? Did I make a mistake? Right? All of those things. Uh, that's where we get in our heads too much and we start to try to tear it apart. Right? We, we try to disassemble our blessing because we can't see how it's going to happen and, and all of that. So then we start to get discouraged and, and counter our positive energy. Well, the, this isn't a perfect, uh, layout because this is the way it's normally this way the eight of eight to the nine right but this is the nine of swords to the eight of rods now the eight is the energy of infinity and it's the energy of the rods which is action the swords are thinking logic and uh air energy right allowing us to hold and that's literally where the swords are no one is holding those over her she's doing it herself mentally this is mental energy Action energy, pulling in new new opportunities, new abundance. It's literally flying at you from every direction. So you don't have to worry too long. This is where we get right before a breakthrough. And this is considered a breakthrough. Negotiation, communication, and very fast movement. So don't dwell in the, in the fear. You have to make your move when it's time. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Oh, very nice. Into financial stability of this king of pentacles. Now, the king of pentacles also represents Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. There we go. My mind went blank for a second. Um, the energy of that is about being very grounded and stable. And it is the pentacles, so it does stand for abundance. And this can be someone who's standing with you or is offering you this kind of security. In the masculine, it means it's already formed and fully available to you. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very, very appreciated. So we have our three cards out. And the underlier is the Aries Emperor, the masculine of the universe itself. So the fully formed, actionable energy. Also the Aries Major Arcana, very stable very much in a place of things have come together and formed something fully. And we're about to see what that's all about. We have worthiness, which is reminding you there's nothing that you have to qualify for to be worthy. You were born worthy and you continue to be worthy. You're in this lifetime. You are worthy. All good things are available to you just like anyone else. I feel worthy and a very special talents that will help me to achieve my dreams. This is where we know within ourselves there are seeds that have been placed and sacred knowledge that we have brought into this plane of existence to help expose all of these wonderful things to help everyone move in the right direction, open to their light, and be able to reach that better energy. Excuse me, they're, they're pulling my breath away. That better energy for manifesting where we learn as we go and then we learn how to be dedicated to that manifestation of what we're trying to create because it's something that we're called to within our soul. So worthiness is definitely here and you are worthy. And, oh, empowerment. We had that in the other daily reading that's for members only. Uh, very solid energy. 
I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. That's when you, worthiness is, has to be there for, for empowerment to actually work. So this is really important to know that, that your uh, experience of how you, how active you feel in your own creation. Well, there's our card. Remain positive. <laughs> <laughs> remain positive it means you're being in the energy of knowing that you will eventually align with what you're what you're doing and you will be given information you don't currently have so don't worry about the lack of, of experience the universe will give you that um it's you've got to have the heart for it to even to even be able to open the door to that so once you've got that energy knowing that you are being called to something then the universe opens all the doors that help you to create that. And one, one way I've heard it said is uh, the universe doesn't call the enlightened. It enlightens the called, right? Those who are called have re receive whatever they need. And we've got the sacral chakra. This is where the seeds are sown to actively create in this universe. The frequency of the sacral chakra, the orange flower of life, supports our ability to flow with our desires and stimulates our creative power to manifest success and abundance in our lives. Absolutely. So that's where that fire within us uh, activates into the wonderful things that we're drawn to that are our special gifts that we may not even be aware we have. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help you unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow your inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. Creativity is the energy of the soul. It is uh, special and sacred. And if you allow yourself to not judge and just let yourself go with the flow, you'll find that you have a, an immense creative skill and, and it can be in any form. So allow yourself to just be your own beautiful blessing. And part of the reason more people aren't in that energy is because you get too critical and micro-focused on something you believe about yourself that may not even be true. Some people say, oh, I don't have a creative bone in my body. Well, have you really been nurturing it at all <laughs> so that's the whole thing if you've never tried you really don't know that that's true we your angels ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive loving ones you are a wondrous being of light even if at times you think you are less than perfect remember that god and divine perfection exists in all things and so it is we are all perfectly imperfect and there's no reason whatsoever to to get upset about that we're all working with what we have doing the best we can when we know better we do better all right so the knight of wands i mean action is happening this is usually on horseback but it means here it comes and you're getting the notification very swiftly and you have the Queen of Cups, which is looking to the forward with an open heart. Looking to the forward. <laughs> She's looking forward with an open heart, with the energy of into the quantum. She's in the, the creative mind, and she has the hopefulness of what she's trying to manifest and she's ready to step into that energy. She's looking forward with a very open energy and lo and behold, here comes the heart's desire being granted. So the nine of cups is here. Absolutely beautiful energy as we move into receiving the stability, creativity, um, and, and security that comes with that nine of cups energy. So many blessings to you all. The universe has our backs as we move forward in the energy of being creative uh, letting go of your own judgment and your own self-criticalness, worrying about what other people think. Um, just be you, stay positive, and you'll find your way forward as long as you allow yourself to open up to the creative source energy. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.